Hello friends, how are you? I am Noor and in this session I will show you how we can update data in ReactJS using .NET 7 uh, SPMVC APIs. Okay, so in our previous video we have seen how we can insert data uh, from the ReactJS application to the database. I have created an API and I have created this form and using this form I was able successfully to insert a record inside the SQL server okay now in this session I will show you how we can update any row inside this list okay now let me first show you the data inside my product table you can see that I have uh, three columns and I have total eight rows at the time inside my uh, SQL table okay now I this is my API project I currently I have two APIs now I will in uh, I mean um, insert the API for the I will create the API for updating the product okay now first I will create the API now to create the API let me copy the API update code okay now let me remove these okay API for updating product record okay now let me change the function name update product and here I will pass on uh, the product uh, I will pass the product let me also remove the ID okay okay I will pass the product and let me remove this okay and here uh, products exist uh, okay context dot create update save changes no inside the case let me just throw the error okay and here I will return the response I will return I mean basically the product okay now this API will basically update uh, the product inside the database that I am getting in the parameter okay now let me also give here the root the route will be update product okay no control s let me run the project and we see whether this api working correctly or not exception ex okay now let me uh, try catch and here i have also to return the product run the project no Go to the speaker and here I have the API for updating the product. Click on try out and here I want to update this record. The product with ID 8 is computer 3. I will update to computer 6. Okay. Now its ID will be 8. Uh, let me update its name to computer 8. Computer 6. Okay. Computer 6. Let me see whether there is any record with computer 6. Okay, there is no record with computer 6. Now I am just updating uh, computer 6, uh, its name and quantity will also be updated to 6. Its current quantity is 3. Okay, let me run the API. I think its data updated successfully. Now currently is computer 3, 3, it should be 6. Let me check. Okay, it is updated successfully. No, I will implement this API now in my ReactJS project. Okay, now go to the ReactJS project and here let me uh, collapse this one. And here is my insert form. Okay, now uh, let me add some functionality like it is my form is my insert form and let me add here 
my update form copy this one okay form is document and handle form update update okay update product i can also use the above form for in uh, for updating the product but for the time uh, let's me use two forms i have just two i think there is no need to to use one another uh, form so i have just to change the text return update okay and here i have to insert one another um, declare one another variable with the name quant with the name product id no these one id okay set product id in its initial value will be zero okay no inside the insert form i will always make the insert the product id to zero so that we have no conflict okay when i am inserting the data uh, i will basically make the set product id to to zero okay no here at this place set product id to zero okay and here i will just add a function when uh, anybody click no on the edit just edit okay Mm, and here let me add one another row for the edit td edit let me add a text here an anchor text edit ok and on click of this function uh, let me send some event set product id is equal to set product data like uh, update product product form ok and here we, i will send the item so let me define this function ok in this place okay update product item constant and here let me update the product name quantity and id so we control z I will also update the product ID here. Format the document. Okay. Now the product name will be item dot name item dot quantity item dot ID. Okay. Uh, format the document. Control S. Let me go to the React project. Now when I click this one, you can see that its value is updated. If I click on this, if I click on this, okay, okay. Now let's suppose I want to update test product 4. Click on edit. It should be 4, double 4, it should be 500. Now click on test product 4, see the result. I am updating. Submit. Test product four, five. Test product double four. Sorry, guys. It's basically inserted a a new row. No. Let me check the API. 
here I am inserting okay sorry guys so I have also to add the ID here at the at the time of ah sorry in the form okay no save again and here I have also to call the update API uh, if there is an update event no let me see if Param dot id is not equal to undefined and param dot id is greater than zero then I have to call the update API else I will call the insert API the normal API format the document no here let's me declare the response outside response should be null for the first time yes this one and if response is not also not equal to null okay remove this empty space no here I have to call the update API update product let's we see also the end file update product okay control s now i have to update this mobile mobile nokia and its quantity should be these you can submit okay no this is updated successfully let's we see again mobile nokia one mobile nokia 3 3 click ok no my data is updating successfully let's me also update this 7 row computer mm, computer gaming its quantity should be 4 double files computer to computer gaming okay computer gaming I have also to modify the message accordingly let's me copy this one else I want to update also the alert no I have to show this alert data updated successfully if it is the update case okay now i have to update this product so to 5 data updated successfully okay now let's me insert one another record mobile this one and its quantity should be this data insert successfully and you can see here now guys we have performed successfully the edit and insert operation and we have also successfully get the product list now in the next video i will show you the final step how we can delete a record in react.js so thank you for watching the video goodbye at this time